Let's go to Johnny in, oh, excuse me, let's go to James in San Antonio, Texas, listening on Guadalupe Radio. James, you're on with Carlo Broussard. Hello. Hello, James. Hi. Yes, uh, my question is, uh, how come in the book of John, um, the apostle uh, John uh, goes around uh, baptizing adults and stuff, and yet, uh, I mean, I'm Catholic, and uh, I know that uh, the Catholic, um, Catholic Church uh uh like um they baptized um the kids when they're like little sure. babies sure sure so how come uh, i i don't hear like whenever i go to church and stuff i don't hear very much like the the priest talk about like like uh baptizing like adults and stuff it's always like uh children okay all right, well, first of all, the Catholic Church does baptize adults very often. Every Easter vigil, the majority of the times, you'll have adults going through baptism in order to uh, be initially incorporated into the Catholic Church. So it's not that the Church doesn't baptize adults. The Church baptizes both adults and infants. Now, with regard to your question concerning, you know, why do we baptize infants when the Bible, in the Bible you have John and you have uh, even the apostles going around baptizing adults, because, you know, all of those initial converts were all adults, right? So they're proclaiming the gospel to adults. For example, on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, Peter preaches the good news of Jesus Christ. 3,000 people convert. You know, they say, what must we do to be saved, in essence? You know, they have this compunction in their heart. What do we got to do? Peter's talking to adults, and so obviously it's going to be adults that convert, and as Acts 2, 38-39 said, they were baptized for the forgiveness of sins. But what's interesting, James, is in Acts chapter 2, verses 38-39, through 39, we get a hint that the Holy Spirit and the forgiveness of sins that is administered through baptism is indeed for the children as well. Because listen to what Peter says. He says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and that is to say by the authority of Jesus Christ, with Jesus' baptism, for the forgiveness of your sins, and, Peter says, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is to you and to your children, and to all that are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. So many scholars have looked at that and, and have seen an implication that the Holy Spirit and the forgiveness of sins that is administered through baptism can be applied to children as well. And, and other examples, we have household baptisms in Scripture. You might want to check this out, James. For example, uh, Lydia in her household are baptized in Acts 16.15. Uh, we have the jailer and his family are baptized in Acts 16.33. Uh, Paul talks about how he baptized the household of Stephanus in 1 Corinthians 1.16. So now this doesn't prove explicitly uh, of the early church baptizing infants, but we do have a hint of households, which it's reasonable to conclude there may very well have been infants there. But what we do see is that on behalf of the faith of these parents here, Lydia and the jailer and Stephanus, you have blessing being administered to the household as well, which is a fundamental principle for our understanding of infant baptism, that the faith of the parent brings about uh, merits for the child, this blessing that is administered through the sacrament of baptism. And finally, James, I would just have to say that according to St. Paul in Colossians, um, let's see if I get this right, Colossians chapter 2, verses 11 through 12, for St. Paul, baptism is the new circumcision. What circumcision was for the old covenant, baptism is for the new. So just as infants particularly male infants at the time, were able to enter into the covenantal family of God through this visible sign of circumcision. So too in the new covenant, baptism is this new circumcision through which one enters into the covenantal family of God in the New Testament. And it's also extended to male infants, female infants, male adults, female adults. So you have baptism being the fulfillment of circumcision, which would imply that children can receive uh, this great sacrament as well to be incorporated into the mystical body of Christ. Thanks, James.